March and a big rally at the end of the day on Wall Street, got a lot of stocks higher. Market share was strong all day, even when the markets were uh, coming down, technicals were very good and I thought we'd see a rally, we did. Even better one than I thought we might get, but there you go. Um, starting off to today with some of the charts that I'm interested in, ANNX at this point is powering ahead. And with the angle of ascent looking like this, I think we're gonna see the stock extend towards nine three quarters ten initially. Long term, you can see we're coming through from key resistance here. And so this gap way back here could be some significant resistance. Let's call that 945.50 in that area. We get through that, maybe the stock goes into the low teens. <clears throat> Good chart though. Look at the technicals and OBV running up. BRAG went through a quadruple, quintuple type top with an explosive move, trading for this stock, very, very big volume. 837,000 is huge for that stock. It went from 561 to 679, finished 667, up 138. Trading about 800,000, which again is big line for that stock. That breakout puts it in the, in the crosshairs of 7, 708 tomorrow, and maybe an extension towards 8. Those are my two targets, 7 and 8. CGC, what can I say? The stock's been a powerhouse move, and I, I regret not giving you guys a swing out. I really thought it was, but just didn't. Uh, the pullback was nothing. We've had one down day in the last week and a half as the stock runs from 277 to today's high. Just under 10 and 988. How about that? 960 was the close. A mere 54 million shares traded today. Kazoo, what a move. Exploding out of a base. I noted this yesterday when it broke out, but today I didn't think we'd get that kind of follow through. Wow. From a low of 574 to 20 and finishing 1830, trading after hours over the coil. See it? Up 1205, 192% today. Big move. Let's see if there's a follow through on it tomorrow. There's a possibility we can get this stock at some point in the next, you know, next weeks and months up to the, the low 50s where there's big resistance. There's some resistance just ahead at about 22. We'll see if we can get to that. The stock pulled back and consolidates for a few days. Wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Uh, Donald J. Trump or John, you know, media, uh, Trump media uh, with an explosive move yesterday and the day before today. A bit of an inside day. Now it was um, still up about 752 or 13%. Line was heavy at 37 million. So if this consolidates for another day or two, maybe we get a wedge or a pennant and then it blows. We'll see. EH, talk about coils and pennants right at the apex that today popped from 1725 to 1880, finished 1873 at 133, a 7.6% gain. Now I'm looking at key resistance. At 1990 to 20, we get through that. We're looking at 23. IBIO probably the best move of the day, no question. From how about 156 to 419, finishing around four up 285, 247% gain today, and 197 million shares. Amazing move. The, the next resistances are going to be up around the five dollar range. In CNO also breakaway gap, big move. Volume was a, for this stock nearly eight million, which is huge. And at this point, I'm looking for an extension to 39.40. NUVB, we're going to break out of this resistance yesterday. And today, a beautiful follow through that took it from 302 to 415, finished at the high for the day, going away up 127, 44%. Now, how much more does this have? Hard to say, but there, it might move into the five and a half, six range. OUST may be coming out of a base as well. It's a long, nice looking base, and today it's spiked. From 515 to 720, finished 670 up 172 of 35 percent gain. Volume is almost 10 million shares. The next resistance is going to be just about eight and a half. If we get through that, who knows where? But eight and a half is your next target. Uh, RUN really like the way this is handled itself, and this is a left head, left um, shoulder head, right shoulder type of inverse head and shoulders. Uh, worst case scenario, it's a left-handed extended V. We close right on the moving average. If we get to that. We're looking at 15. SMR, a monster move and a huge pullback with about a 0.618 February trade to the right to the 50, bounced and today spiked. 428 to 617, 45% gain on 17.7 .7 million. And it doesn't look like it may be done. Or the 50% February trade has been taken to the seven. SMTC, a semiconductor stock broke out yesterday. Had a nice follow through today, taking it from 
25, 17, and 28, 87. Finished just under 28, up 280, or 11%. I'd like to look at this. Possible next move would be a test of 30. STLK with an explosive move after yesterday's pop. Held the gap and just went vertical before backing off, but still from 1030 to 1640. Closing at 1430, up 4 of 39%. Probably needs to consolidate in his zone. But my next target could be 22.3 in that zone. Tandem, tech trader swing with a nice follow through today. I think the stock makes it into the high 30s, low 40s. And finally, VANC breaks out of a long base, explodes, ascending wedge, and run to the target zone around nine, and now a correction flag. If I step back and change the angle, it looks more reasonable here. Nice parallel channel comes into focus. And if this has another leg, which it looks like it might, this is one to watch for a move into the high teens. First, I retest the nine and three quarters, and then maybe 12 to 13 or more. Nice looking chart. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have a great evening, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, which is the last day before Good Friday's holiday, and we'll have a three-day weekend. Bye now.